Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Floppy Nights, shall we? Well, never played this game, saw it on the Xbox Game Pass, I love card games, and I love strategy, real, you know, turn-based, sorry, uh, games, love them, so I thought I'd boot it up. Now, the art looks like the same artist from Dicey Dungeons, I don't know if it's the same developer i don't think so but it looks like you know it could potentially be a a similar big brain type game and i am all about it so let's give it a shot to see what this game is like all right carlton phoebe is it complete yet looks like we're working on a kind of bionic computerized arm with a very gleeful expression on our face and some butterfly-esque sunglasses. Fantastic. Just a sec, Carlton. Advanced robotics are not that simple. Yeah, they don't look it. I've waited an entire week. It only took you a month to make me. Uh, wait a minute, who are we talking to? Implementing an upgraded for me should only take 30 minutes, maximum. 30 minutes? Are your math processors broken? Okay, so... Am I understanding this interaction? Phoebe is this f female inventor, and Carlton is the robotic AI arm thing? It's like a power glove, which... I mean, look at the channel avatar in the lower right corner of your screen. I obviously love the power glove. And then it's like a pit boy too, a little bit. Relax, almost there. Just a few more screws and then... All right, you're ready. Ready for what? This, I just in finished installing a floppy disk drive on you. Ah, uh, a three and a half inch floppy. Tremendous. The only way to get your data around. Now, in case you're not familiar, this used to be a data storage device that we would use in computers and now does not come on a computer when you purchase it of any size. I've seen floppy disks that are tremendous, five and a quarter, three and a half, those are the most popular sizes, uh, but they had larger than five and a quarter, much bigger ones, thicker ones, super disks near the end of the life cycle for this data medium. Fantastic to see it. What does this floppy disk do? You're about to find out. I put a very special program on this one. Hmm, okay. Phoebe's a programmer, an inventor, a whiz. Can we test it out? Sure can. Fascinating. Look at that little guy. Huh. Okay, is this like augmented reality? What is this? I call them floppy knights. They're tangible projections I made by sequencing elemental magic into code. Now, this is interesting. So, you know, as we think about the technological space of virtual reality and augmented reality, VR and AR, I don't have much to say about this mode, which is an augmented reality, but it's a shared reality because... The projection is not limited to... I don't think it's just, like, visible through her lenses. Carlton can see it, too. So anybody could presumably see this. Kind of like, I guess, you know, Emperor Palpatine holographic projection. Uh, but... Fascinating. They can touch things, grab stuff, and in this one's case, kick my tools. So, even more fascinating. No, this is not just some insubstantial holographic projection. This thing is something from nothing projected by, I don't know if it's projected by Carlton, and yet it can interact with the physical world. I mean, this is some kind of invention. By the way, I think it's fair game to point out that Phoebe is wearing two different shoes. Mom and Dad are always on me to take on a magic profession. Oh, okay, so wait, so it's not just science here, it's magic too? But I keep telling them magic is overrated, science is the real magic. Indeed, as Isaac Asimov said. 
I was thinking these floppy knights could help us take on odd jobs around town. Let me show you how to use them, Carlton. I'm ready whenever you are. All right, let's see how to use them. This seems fun. Oh, okay. Is this a... Like a grid-based... Turn-based strategy game? I thought it was a card game from the picture I saw. Maybe not. All right, let's go over the basics. Loading training simulation. You don't need to say loading training simulation for it to work, you know. Correct. However, it is important to have fun while you work. Okay, fair enough. Battle start. Let's start it up. This floppy knight is called Succulent Kicker. Well, indeed, he is succulent. We'll practice by fighting him with another floppy knight I've made. And meet Captain Thistle. They're a commander unit, sort of like our team leader. Okay, so there is a card that I saw. He's got five health, four attack, three movement, and one accuracy or one ranged attack. Cycle plow ahead. Oh, I can see their stats right here. HP is their health. If it reaches zero, they'll be removed from the field. Attack is how much they deal. Speed is how many tiles they can move. And range is the distance that they can attack. Okay, so it's a melee fighter, so range of one. Fair enough, okay. To play any unit, we drag the unit card into the blue deployment zone. All right. Commence dragging Captain Thistle's card into the blue deployment zone. All right, I, I did. There. Sweet, Captain Thistle is on the map. He is. Oh, I see. It's a programming game. Okay. You can see their hit points in the bottom right corner. I see it. Five. Now that they're here, let's use them. Each turn, our commander generates a special card for us to use. Plow ahead. And we draw five cards from our own deck. All right. These are move in any direction for one energy. And we have five energy. Oh, I get it. Now that a unit is on the field, we can play other cards on them. But we have a limited energy every turn, correct? That's right. We can see how much energy each card costs here. So it costs one. Anything we don't play gets discarded at the end of our turn. And will be reshuffled into our deck when we run out of cards. Fascinating. Now let's use Captain Thistle's special card to move. All right, so this says plow ahead. It's gold, meaning special. But I'm also guessing it denotes some kind of rarity within the game's card set. So we get plus one speed this turn, move unit, delete. So that means we can move four instead of three this turn. First, select the plow ahead card from the card bar, okay? Now drag the plow ahead card onto Captain Thistle. Nice. He's ready to move. Okay. So, um, it didn't deplete the energy right away. We started at five and we used this maybe after the card is done. So I'm going to move him over by the bad guy. Each unit can move a number of tiles equal to their speed stat. Let's move Captain Thistle to this tile so they'll be in range to attack. Indeed. We did it. Now it used the energy. There are a couple of ways that the unit can attack. See the little sword icon on Captain Thistle? Each unit gets one free attack each turn that costs no energy to use. Oh, that's nice. If you see this sword icon on the unit, that means they haven't used their free attack yet. Okay, very clever. We should left-click on Captain Thistle to activate their free attack. Okay, I'm doing that. You can attack any unit in the highlighted tiles. All right, that guy. Now left click on the succulent kicker. Okay. Oh, we killed it one shot. Victory. That's pretty good. Notice the sword icon is gone now, which means we used Captain Thistle's free attack. We did. That sword will come back every turn. Remember to use it. Indeed. We did it, Carlton. Nice work. All right. We did it. How about that? We've won. And we got a reward, which is Captain Thistle. And now we can actually attack and not just move. And we got 20 coins. Fantastic. We'll take it. Phoebe, that was incredible, says Carlton. The AI. It's not just a cybernetic arm. It's a, it's a robotic and mechanical arm that 
is my arm. It's not... I don't think it's augmenting my human arm. There, I don't, I don't think she has an arm here. I think it's just Carlton, but I could be wrong about that. We're so powerful. Everything worked perfectly. We should try this out on a real gig. All right. I estimate we're ready to take on a job and make some sick cash. Look at those shades on Carlton. I love it. I love when you use human phrases, Carlton. See? She loves it, too. You see those dollar signs in her eyes? Let's go. There's mom and dad. Wow. All right. Look at this handsome couple. Phoebe, I hope we're not interrupting anything. Your mother and I wanted to talk. All right. Dad's got a nice sweater vest on. About how I need to get a job. I know. You've told me like a million times. Phoebe, you're 16 years old. You've been shut up here tinkering away at all this stuff for too long. We're worried about you, honey. I demand you go out there and enjoy life. And you enjoy life by becoming a cog in the capitalist machine. You got it, Mom. Take on some responsibility. Get a job. It'll be great for you. Thanks, Dad. You might even make a few friends. That will be cool. I have friends, Mom. I have Carlton. Yes, but you built Carlton. No offense, dear. None taken. Listen, I have a plan so I won't have to get some boring job. I'll even make enough money to buy my own place. Wow, your own house, huh? You really do have lofty goals. I'm 16, I'm moving out. You guys are giving me the heebie-jeebies. Everyone else my age is doing it, I can't fall behind. I've made an invention that will help us take on work, and I've completed it in just in time for the Gadget Cup competition too. Sweet. I want to enter this. If I win that first place cash prize, I'll have all the cash I need. Indeed. The Gadget Cup, that's the science tournament they hold in town every year, right? I like how Dad doesn't know about this. Dad's like, I don't really know too much. I just kind of hang around the house with your well-muscled mother here. Right, and this year I've finally old enough to compete. We'll make some quick cash if we win. You know, having regular responsibilities and people that depend on you isn't such a bad thing. I've been able to use my fire magic to do all the smithing for all of Toggle Town. Wow. All right. So she's a blacksmith, but she also uses fire magic. Now that is awesome. And everyone loves her for it. We're always inundated with thank you cakes. Delicious. We had to get a second fridge just for the cakes. Phoebe, we're really proud of how talented you are with all this technology stuff, but if this plan of yours doesn't work, you'll have to go to work as a blacksmith with your mother. That's not so bad, at least until you find something more stable. Fine. This'll work, though. I've already got our first job lined up for us. I like how there is no mention of, like, what Dad does. Does he, does he have a job? Just give me a couple of days. We'll leave you to it, honey. All right, fine. Sweet. Look at this world map. Let's take on the world. All right, so I can only click on the outskirts of town right now. Everything else is locked. And there's some bandits here. I mean, look at these shady characters who want to throw some radishes at me. Let's see what happens. Level start. Bam. Bam. Are they turnips? Are they radishes? Are they eggplants? Let's look closer. We're here. The job board said to meet at this farm on the outskirts of town. I wonder who our client is. Oh, I didn't see any job description. Oh, it all sounds so official. Client. Job. Look at us, Phoebe. Soon, we will no longer be an unnecessary burden on your parents. I'm sorry, Mom and Dad. Jeez, Carlton. We really need to work on your bedside manner. That's pretty blunt. Abigail, can I help you? Uh, hey, are you the one who posted the job? Yep, you must be Phoebe. I thought you said there'd be two of you. There are two of us. I am Carlton, an artificially intelligent arm created by Phoebe. Deal with it, Abigail. Yeah, that's great. Uh, right, what seems to be the problem? It says here on the job posting that you are, uh, terrorized by vegetarian goblins? Okay, well, I was right. They are vegetables of some kind. 
Listen, kid, I tried to keep a tight farm, but every day those forest goblins are snatching up all of my crops. Oh, that's frustrating. Perhaps we could grow some more carrots? How hard could it be? It sounds like a lot of work, Carlton. I just need you to keep watch and keep them away from my crops. I love keeping watch. I do not need to blink, so I'm very proficient at it. Yeah, that's true, Carlton. Okay, but I'm gonna need some kind of down payment. Here. Uh, seeds? I mean... I meant cash. What am I supposed to do with these? You can make a lot of money planting those. Oh, really? Now go take care of my goblin problem. Fine, but you better leave a good tip when we're done here. Carlton, we'll post up over here by the... Target sighted. What? The goblins, they're right over there. I told you I'm proficient at keeping watch. Ooh, it's the hyper sniper. Hee hee hee. Check it out, fellas. I don't know what kind of magic this lady's using to make food come out of the ground, but I'm just loving it. Let's fill the bags up. It's just nature magic, but that's fine. Those little punks. What are you waiting for? Go get them. Ooh. Abigail is, uh, a little bit terrifying when she's angry. Battle start. Indeed. Let's do it. To win this battle, defeat all enemies. All right. So is it just me and Captain Thistle against all of these? Is that reasonable? Check it out. We're always draw, uh, we'll always draw the commander first. So it's like commander and Magic the Gathering at the start of every battle. All right. Remember when I said the commander was sort of like our team leader? Indeed. We can let other units take as many hits as we want. But our commander is the leader, and if their hit points reach zero, we lose. We can right-click on any enemy, okay, and see their movement and attack ranges. Let's keep an eye on our enemies to keep our commander safe. All right, so there we go. There's the movement and attack. Fascinating. I love this. So this is a really cool game. I mean, the the smallness of the grid, it is indeed an 8x8 eight eight grid, like a chessboard, which reminds me of Into the Breach uh, with the turn-based small grid. But then, you know, you've got the cards like Slate Aspire that are randomized, but then you have a set cards with a hero. So there's a lot of cool mechanics that are mixing up. Uh, all right. So I'm going to plow ahead and I'm going to move over here and I'm just going to go ahead and use my free attack on this Joker. And he's gone. And then, I can't attack again, and I've only drawn move. So let's just make sure that we're not in anybody's, like, attack range. I think we're good. I don't see any reason to move. Oh, they're all passing. Okay. This music is awesome, by the way. It's like, uh, uh super 8-bit, old school. Maybe it's more like 16-bit, but it's cool. All right, let's see. Um, all right, we drew some extra cards. Thorns. Unit gains plus one attack. Destroy. All right. So I wonder if that's forever. Succulent kicker. Oh, I can summon this guy. Come on into my squad. Sweet. All right, so it looks like this guy has an attack power of two. So I actually... Um, I kind of want to give my succulent... Oh, it's only plus one attack. Um, if I go over here... I don't know if they get to retaliate. Or I, if... Because I've only killed things in one shot. But I, I'm kind of moving, thinking about just hopping my succulent kicker to here. And then just uh, doing two attacks. And killing this unit. So I'm going to hop up here. And... Oh, they have a free attack. Right, right, right. I don't even need to use that. So let's just go ahead and do that. And... Um, hit. Beautiful. Alright. And then let's see. Um, where is your movement to here? Even if... Eh, I'll do it anyway. And we'll just go here. 
And then what I can do is I can just move to here. And then we just use our free attack and bam. Uh, and then where do you get to? You can't reach us. You can't even reach us ahead. So I'm actually going to move just right here and end the turn. All right, they're staying put. Sweet. All right. Move unit. Flip to reap. Huh. This is interesting. So, if I move, I pay one to move like normal, but then it flips over and uh, becomes an attack. That's pretty slick, actually. I can't reach the guy, though, so I need to plow ahead. And then we go over here, and I'm just going to free attack. Now, this guy actually won't die because it's a little stronger. Uh, so I'll go ahead and just finish the job. Now, I can sew on you, and you move really far, actually. We'll move over here, and it's turned over to an attack. So we just use our free attack. And then we use the reaped card over here, and we did it. How about that? Victory. We got some rewards. We got a Spatunia, and we got Grows. Something about this game also kind of reminds me of the Plants vs. Zombies card game uh, for mobile. I guess just a plant theme. Uh, anyway, great. Take it. Wow, leave us alone, you skinny, dinky losers. Who you calling a loser? Hey, you little twerps, cut it out. Those are mine. Uh-oh, the angry lady's here. Hurry up, grab as much as you can, and scram. Don't just stand there. Chase after them. Hey, pretty sure that's out of our scope of work. Yeah, Phoebe, you tell her. As if. You didn't scare them at all. They're going to be back as soon as you leave. Man, I thought this was going to be easy. I'm paying you to get to the root of this problem. Is that some vegetable humor? Haha, -ha, nice. It was a good one, lady. We love it. Go. Jeez, okay, we're going. Hey, I beat him up. What more do you want? You're paying me. We acquired a card from that last battle. We can add it to our deck here. Okay. Let's look at our deck. This is the deck builder. We can add cards to our deck through here. Okay. On this side of the cards currently in our deck. It's a plant deck. And, yeah, we're missing. We can hold up to 30. And on this side is our backpack. All the cards we've collected so far. Cards with the lock icon are base cards. They can't be removed. And this is our commander, Captain Thistle. We can switch them out, but only with other plants commanders. We can remove any card from the deck that doesn't have a lock icon and store them in the backpack. Our deck must always have a minimum of 12 cards. Let's add Spatunia to our deck now. Click the Spatunia card in the backpack. And then bingo, Spatunia will be in our deck. It's that easy. Okay. Creating a strong deck will be critical to our success, so let's keep an eye on new cards as we get them. When we're all done, let's head back to the world map. All right, are these real cards that I have? Oh wait, come back. Um, oh no, everything is basically in my deck. I'm gonna add grow though. Oh, all of these moves are locked. I was gonna say I don't, I don't want that many move cards though. I'm actually gonna kick back this move card and go back down to twelve. We'll see if this is a mistake. Um, let's see. This is a kicker. This is a so these are two creatures. This is a guaranteed attack. This is a grow. It's so interesting, the ratio. Like, I'm I'm thinking very much in terms of Slate Aspire with block and attack. But because you have a free attack, you don't need as many just of this kind of card. So this can turn into an attack, but only if we use it. Or no, wait. Oh, yeah, right. Here it is. This is an attack. That's... Uh, do I want to add one more attack? I'm going to keep it like this and see how this goes. 
gonna save it. And we're out. Oh, uh, I guess... Uh, what do we do when we're done? Go over here? Okay. Yep, indeed. Alright, so we beat this level. Let's go to the next one. Squad attack. Alright. Woof, man, they've got little legs, but they can run fast. It is really too bad that you don't have super strong robotic legs. Carlton, we've been over this. I'm not going full bionic woman, but I'm so strong. Being a robot is so cool. You really should try it. Good grief. Good grief. Humans say the weirdest things. Phoebe, look, they're using a communications device. Do you think there are other goblins they're allied with? Are you saying there are more of them somewhere? Good grief. Let's deal with these twerps. I want to get paid as quickly as possible. All right. Battle start. To win this battle, destroy the goblin satellite. Okay. Can I just say, if I haven't said so already, which I have, it is hilarious to me that this is a game based on us fighting other things in turn-based battle using deck of cards and our cards represent projections that we make from a bionic computer that uses three and a half inch floppies that's on our arm and these projections somehow become corporeal and can interact tangibly with reality. It's fascinating. Fascinating. Alright, let's put down the cap. Watch out for that enemy spawner. Yeah, I see it. Can I walk over water? Are we cool with that? Reinforcements will arrive on these when the countdown reaches zero. It's already zero. Make sure to take care of these enemies so we don't get overwhelmed. Alright, fine. Um, yeah, it looks like I can move across the water. But I should have moved my Captain Thistle somewhere else because this is actually not going to take me where I want it. But that's okay. All right, so let's see. You know what's interesting is uh, I might get hit. I might get hit by this guy. What's your range? Yeah, if I stand here, I'm definitely going to get spanked. But that's okay. I, I have to. What's your damage? Ooh, it's four. Actually, maybe that's not okay. I was going to just walk in between them and kill them, but I have to respect this guy. Alright, so I move here. And I'm going to move again, and I'm going to go over here. And we'll just go ahead and you know, use our free attack on this dude. And now, where can you go? You can hit me here. How much damage do you do? You do one. All right, that's much more reasonable. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give myself this. I think it's a permanent buff, a plus one attack. And then, or, you know, a, b a buff for the whole battle. Where can you get again? You can't get here, and you can get here. So I don't think I can move out of this guy's range. And he's got an armor, so it looks like he'll mitigate one point of damage. I guess actually, if I move, um, if I move myself here, I I've observed that some terrain will give units a bonus. Oh, maybe it's the guy has armor just because he's standing in this forest. These forests will give a unit armor, which acts like extra hit points. Okay, that's exactly what's going on. Uh, anyway, we're gonna end the turn. So this is a safe square where, where we can't get hit, but I don't know how important this is. A lot of these enemies in the first few rounds are just standing still. Okay. Alright, we did draw the succulent kicker, which is terrific. Um, I don't know why I drew all these extra cards. Did he have some kind of bonus when you played him? Alright, anyway. Um, here we go. Upgrade a plant's card in your hand. Um, so let's see what this becomes. Unit gains plus one attack. Move plus one extra tile. Huh. Alright then. Do they also get speed? 
Um, this would cost zero. This would mean it doesn't get destroyed. That's pretty nice. And then this... Yeah, these are really good. I'm gonna go ahead for Plowhead Plus. It's just such a nice card. All right, now, um, where can I move you? Yeah, you can walk right up and attack. Now, if I do this to you, where can you go? Hmm, all right. Hmm. I'm going to do this. I was thinking about... What is this 12 attack? Good lord. Or 12 health. The hob bopper. Alright, we got to watch out for that. Mm. Alright, well, here's what we're going to do. You know, I could actually just walk over and kill the satellite and leave the enemies there, but I don't know if we automatically win if we kill the satellite or if we have to fight through the enemies. Uh, if we have to fight through the enemies, we might lose, but let's just see what happens. So what we're going to do is if I sow, I can move up here. And then I can do this to just bap that thing. And then, um, hit that, and we crush it, and we win. Great. Sneaky. So we got a Barrel Cactus, which is a baller unit, 7 health, big boy, and has an AoE attack. Nice. And branch out. Attack an enemy if this unit is currently on a forest tile, plus 1 damage. That's a funny one. Branch out. I get it. Cool. Goblin Grunt says, I repeat, the losers are here. We are retreating to the river. Where do you think you're going? I'm looking at them right now. They look stinky and mean. Be advised to take caution should you see them. Goblins, fall back. How dare they? We're not stinky or mean. We're nice and cute. Oh, now they made it personal. Ooh, look how angry she is. Yikes. Come on, Carlton. We're going to finish this job no matter what. But stop these veggie thieves and get our money. And a sincere apology. Verbally and in writing. Way ahead of you. Awesome. Carlton, I think we're ready to craft some cards of our own. Oh, okay. They want to show us about crafting. Let's make some new cards. Okay, so making is just like we buy it. We spend money. Um, nice. All right, so they want us to what? Make succulent kicker. This could be cool. It could be. This is ever. This is all of our money. Draw one card. Gain one energy next turn. Oh, that's fun. Unit gains plus two max hit points. Destroy. Attack an enemy. Boost. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's actually really good. Um, I like that very much. And then I have fifteen left. Do I want another succulent kicker? Sure, just make it as free. That was a freebie. I'll keep an eye out for that in the backpack. Uh-huh. I don't think I need any attacks. And do I want this? Yeah, let's get it. A brand new card. I don't know if I'll actually add it to the deck. It could be useful later, but... Um, right now, I'm not, like, super stoked about it. So one thing I do want to do though is just go ahead and replace attack with uh, the new attack card that we got. Oh, we definitely want to add Barrel Cactus. And then we want to put in Seed Sword. And then, do I want Branch Out? It does seem pretty nice. It's an attack. So we have this gives us two attacks. Um, and three creatures. And then if we want this tree folk rock, we can try that. That could be fun. All right, sweet. We'll save it. And then we'll just go back out here. Boom. All right, and we're ready for rivals, which is the next mission. And everyone, I think this is a good place to stop this first episode of Floppy Nights. Uh, I've had a really good time with this game. It's, there's a lot of depth. 
Uh, it's a very interesting amalgamation of some game types that I really enjoy. And I'm curious to know, like, you know, what do you guys think of this game? Do you enjoy it? Have you played it? Do you recommend it? If you've never seen it before, what are your impressions so far? Do you want to see me play more of this game? I'd love to see uh, what your opinion is. And, you know, if there's any tips or tricks you have that are non-spoilery, those would be fantastic as well. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. Have an excellent evening or day. Take care.